20. Question 20. Evan Russell, broker owner, ERA Russell Realty Group right here in North Reading, Massachusetts, about 20 miles north of Boston. Russell Realty Minute. Uh, dot com. You can find me in the iTunes Music Store, which I'm sure you found me here. Please leave me a review if you're enjoying these. This is going to be question 20 of our 26 podcast series. It's actually 26.5 questions because we put one in the middle there. And the question is a really simple, quick answer. It might not even be three minutes here. What other websites do you feature to, to market my home? Well, at the root, if, if you have a, a, a crazy bush or a crazy tree, there's one root or one trunk that spreads out and grows into a million different limbs and that one root is the multiple listing service so the the more robust we can make your listing on the multiple listing service the better it's going to aggregate to any other site that that pulls in so like we've talked about realtor zillow trulia remax century 21 Caldwell banker sotheby's uh Cent- uh where, whoever else better homes and gardens keller williams redfin on and on and on anybody who has an idx feed and it meaning an internet data exchange with the multiple listing service to their site, including all these individual, you know, personal sites like EvanRussell.com or you know, Sell with Lydia or or you know, Lauren sells RE or you know, whatever, whatever. All those individual sites that have that have a particular uh, feed are going to show your your house. So it's going to show up on millions and millions of different of different property feeds, right? All all in and all around the the greater Boston area and of course nationally. So internet exposure is is definitely not our problem, right? Like I said, if the home doesn't sell, we mentioned this last last uh, podcast. If the home doesn't sell, it's not going to be default in the marketing unless we we put it in the MLS wrong, unless we aggregate some information that's not correct, where you have one car garage but you actually have two, whether it's oil, heat, and you really have gas, or whether you know whatever the case is, we have Corian countertops and it's really granite. So unless we make those mistakes. Which, we, which we're not going to do because we're going to do it together, then it's not going to be the fault of the marketing. That would fall into the communication, and that would be the reason why the home doesn't sell. Of course, if, you're, if your home has Corian versus Granite, it will still sell, but you understand, you understand the point I'm trying to make here. All right, so your home is going to be exposed to a, a, an unlimited amount of websites with an unlimited amount of traffic, and of course, in some of those sites, an unlimited amount of, of reporting back on who, when, how has seen your house, who's made the appointment, who's made the calls. All right, Russell Realty Minute. That is question number twenty. We're moving on to twenty-one here. We're we're half. We're almost there. Almost there. Hope you're enjoying. Evan at the Russell Team.com. Russell Realty Minute at Work with Evan on Twitter feed. Also on Instagram. Evan at Work with Evan.